Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, you're gonna be finding out are chia seeds healthy, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's me and Mir. This question keeps on popping up left, right, and center, and everywhere, and that is, are chia seeds healthy? Bing, bang, boom. I got some right here. Well, by the looks of them, uh, they look pretty cool, but we're gonna get into the science of it and other aspects of chia. First of all, Welcome to my brand new homemade studio. As you can tell from my previous videos, most of my videos are done in the studio. However, I've been moving around a lot, doing a lot of workshop talks around the world. So this is my portable studio. It is a, a thing like a six foot board I got from Home Depot. So you gotta think on your feet, right? Basically, let's start talking about chia seeds, okay? The number one optimal health benefit people keep on talking about when it comes to chia seeds are its omega-3 content, okay? That's what we're gonna be focusing on this video today. There's many other benefits, but just for the sake of this video and keeping things, well, simple, that is, I like simplicity, let's focus on the omega-3s, so EPAs and DHAs. Okay, this, my friends, is a simplified, I mean super, super simplified pathway from alpha-linolenic acid to EPA and DHA. Let's pause for a second. What the hell is alpha linolenic acid? Well, it is a precursor, it's a fatty acid precursor found in chia seeds to create into your omega-3 DHA. However, chia seeds by themselves, so just this chia seed right here, do not, I repeat, please pay attention, do not come with your bioavailable DHEA. It comes with the precursor, alpha linolenic acid. Okay, that's super important, keep that in mind. This doesn't come with your, you know, omega-3s already in the bioavailable form that your body needs. Okay, cool. Now, you eat the chia seed, and then your body gets the alpha linolenic acid, and it goes through this pathway. Now, there's other different intermediaries in between here. Like, I think there's another four. I made a simple, which is the key one that we're going to be talking about. So, after you eat that, there is a special enzyme called delta-6 desaturates. Repeat that shit with me. Delta-6 desaturates, tongue twister. Okay, now this enzyme is responsible for converting the alpha linoleic acid into EPA, then into DHEA, your omega-3s. Okay, keep that in mind. You need this baby, you need that enzyme. Okay, without this enzyme, this does not convert into DHEA. Okay, this is where my problem comes with chia seeds. As all the marketers out there, the crazy vegans, I got a lot of vegan friends, but there's crazy ones out there, and crazy, a lot of other people keep on proclaiming this is the fucking super shit of everything and has all your megas and you don't need nothing else. Rubbish, I say absolute rubbish. Because if you look at the science, and there's many studies, please go on PubMed, go on Google Scholar, and it shows that with an increased intake of alpha linoleic acid, either from chia seeds or flax seeds, etc., your actual DHEA does not increase. That means you do not increase your omega 3s because your delta 6 desaturase enzyme has variables. And let me please explain. Your delta 6 desaturase can be influenced by your environment, it can be influenced by your genetics, you can be born that way. There's many other cofactors that can actually limit the health of your delta-6 desaturase. On top of that, in studies, they have shown that delta-6 can only convert maximum up to about 8% of your alpha to DHA. And that's if it's functioning 100% healthy like a Ferrari engine. However, in our day and age, with genetic issues, so if, I highly recommend if you haven't done already, go get a 23andMe. With your genetic issues, with environmental issues, with food issues, all these things are co-founding together, you know, like a compound effect, your delta-6 is suffering. So that 4 to 8%, you know, 4 to 8%, that gets converted to DHA, maybe 2% or maybe 3 I personally don't know. So that is my problem when it comes to chia seeds and the whole omega-3 thing. As you can see, this is the grand master right here. If you, the delta-6 can only handle on a healthy individual 4 to 8, right? So from a omega-3 point of view, I'd rather focus my time on something else and i get to that in a second. However, I'm not discrediting chia seeds, they're great, okay? The number one thing I already talked about is I'm not eating chia seeds. Well, I personally don't eat them. This is a roommate of ours. But, and I don't eat them. I'm not saying they're not healthy. We'll get to that in a second. But 
why I don't like chia seeds from a marketing perspective is no, they're not beneficial for omega-3. That's number one negative of it. Number two negative of it, it comes from Latin America. And that's why you gotta really look on the global scale of things for economies and a social impact. Where are they being farmed? How are they being imported? How are they being stored, etc. These all play a role. Forget about science. Forget about you know all this mumbo jumbo right here. What impact on the global scale is this? Uh, is the chia seed inflicting us with? You know what the heck is going on? Are we robbing people in a third world country for our benefit? You know, are we exploiting them for our benefit? Okay, this is something we have to take into consideration. You know, if you like chia seeds, look at the company that you're buying from. Look at their standards, look at their practices, look at how they actually uh, deliver value back onto our planet. That's very important, okay? Okay, let's not, you know, push chia too far underneath the carpet because there is really great benefits for that. Remember, even though it's only four to eight percent, you still do get a small conversion, which is good. However, what chia has on the second hand, it's super beneficial for your gut bacteria and motility is insoluble fiber. Okay, that's a fiber that your body can't assimilate and digest. It goes to your gut bacteria as food, feeds them, happy bacteria, happy you. So that's why I really like chia seeds too for the insoluble fiber. Uh, it, it does have some proteins as well, but that's a whole different video, okay? But just for the sake of this video, omega-3 ain't wrong answer. Question is, how in the world do you get your omega-3s? Boom! Step over into my office over here. Real food with EPA and DHA. I'm not the biggest fan of fish oils. I'm not the biggest fan of any oils in general. I'm coming up with a huge monster blog soon talking about that. However, I'm a big fan of real food, okay? Now, there's many foods out there that has omega-3. I look at density, right? So you gotta, I gotta think like a businessman. I put my time in, how much return can I get, okay? I want my food to work for me. That being said, bing, bang, boom, the best foods for your omega-3. And remember, these foods already come in the EPA DHA form. They don't have to be converted, super important. Number one, salmon, two to three times a week. Okay, make sure you get that in. Make sure it's not farm salmon. Wild, Pacific, Atlantic, whatever. Whatever you can afford as well too. Finances have to be played in the picture. So talking about finances, that's a great segue to number two, sardines. Yeah, I know, a lot of people don't like them. Get used to it though. They're super healthy, super affordable. The ratios of EPA to DHA is absolutely amazing. It's, I consider it one of the best foods in the world. If you're from Europe like I am, everybody loves sardines. You North Americans, wake up, start eating sardines. Oysters, mm. side, side benefits from oyster, aphrodisiac. So there's a bonus right there. And finally, eggs. That's it, that's how I personally get all my omegas. And you can do your own omega hack. You can take, uh, a uh, lab is called Genova. It can do your own prick test and you can actually check your omega-3 to omega-6 status. So if you want to really biohack your fatty acid status, I recommend getting that test. It's a test you can do home. Same principles like uh, diabetic prick. Really cool stuff. I'm going to be writing about that very soon. But there you have it. Salmon, sardines, oysters, and eggs. And that's my video on chia seeds. Omega-3, no-no for chia. Other health factors such as insoluble fibers and feeding the gut bacteria, yes. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe below, and before you go, right below this video somewhere, I'm offering my free biohacking toolkit where I show you my personal tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to optimize my body, mind, and soul. Till then, warriors, remember, live, breathe, grow. Warrior Unleashed, have a great day.